I call series. Right, children. So we have completed the lesson and we have completed the grammar part also regarding healthy food. Now it is about our skills and activity part. Okay. So as usual in the skills and activity part, we have a let us read. Um, so read the following passage. So you will hear the reading first. And then we will have the passage over there. I will read it once. And then you will have time to read that also. Right? So let us listen to this passage reading first. Passage We should eat fruits and vegetables every day. They keep us healthy. They make us strong. Most fruits like apples, oranges, bananas, and grapes taste good. Most vegetables like carrots, beans, potatoes and tomatoes are good for health. If we eat lots of fruits and vegetables, we will not fall sick very often. Okay children, so have you listened to that? Okay, now we will read this passage once and after that we will have some time for you to read it and then we will go on to the question answer part. So I will read this passage, follow me carefully. We should eat fruits and vegetables every day. They keep us healthy. They make us strong. Most fruits like apples, Oranges, bananas and grapes taste good. Most vegetables like carrots, beans, potatoes and tomatoes are good for health. If we eat lots of fruits and vegetables, we will not fall sick very often. So the passage is saying about the importance of eating a lot of fruits and vegetables. Okay. We should eat uh, fruits like uh, apples, oranges, bananas and grapes and vegetables like uh, carrots, beans, potatoes, tomatoes because they are very good for our health and not only that, if we have the habit of eating these fruits regularly then uh, we will not uh, fall sick also very often. Right? So that is the passage. <clears throat> so I will keep the passage here for a minute. Uh, let us read it first. Okay? You have to read it loud over there and after that we will go on to the exercise part. Okay, so have you read the lesson, the passage, right, now we will do the question and answer part in this. Now answer these questions, what should we eat every day, what should we eat every day, we should eat Fruits and vegetables every day. What should we eat every day? We should eat uh, fruits and vegetables every day. Why should we eat fruits and vegetables? Give one reason. So why should we eat fruits and uh, vegetables? Give one reason. One reason for eating fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables keep us healthy. Fruits and vegetables keep us healthy. <clears throat> okay. 
Now the next question. Name any two fruits. Apple, oranges, bananas and grapes are fruits. Okay. We can write other fruits also. Pineapples are there. Pomegranate is there. Huh? Dragon fruit is there. Plenty of fruits are there. Watermelon is there. Musk melon is there. Plenty of fruits are there. Okay. We can write the name of any two fruits over there. Doesn't matter. These are the fruits mentioned in the paragraph. That's it. Now, name any two vegetables. The same. Name any two vegetables. Carrots, beans, potatoes and tomatoes are vegetables. Carrots, beans, potatoes and tomatoes. We can write other vegetables also. Leafy vegetables like spinach or... Uh, Lettuce, we can write, we can write cabbage, cauliflower, uh, we can write beetroot, okay, with capsicum. All these are vegetables. So we can write the names of any two vegetables. These are the vegetables that we have used in this particular passage. Okay, that's it. Yeah. Shall we go for the next question now? What should we do in order not to fall sick? If we do not want to fall sick, what should we do? What should we do? We should eat a lot of fruits and vegetables in order not to fall sick. We should eat a lot of fruits and vegetables in order not to fall sick. So, if we eat a lot of vegetables, we will not uh, fall sick. Okay. So, that's it. So, now we will go on to the next one. Let's practice. Follow your teacher while he or she is uh, saying and uh, pronouncing the words below. See, here are some words and here are some words. The difference is the way we pronounce these words. Okay. So there are different spellings like O O U O O O U O O O O E O O O O. Okay. So these letters can be pronounced in two ways. One is U. Second is U. One is U. Second is U. Okay. This is a short U. This is a symbol for the short U. This is a symbol for the long U. That's it. Right? So, shall we practice this? Look. L-O-O-K. Look. P-U-T. Put. F-O-O-T. Foot. C-O-O-K. Cook. S-H-O-U-L-D. Should. <coughs> okay? Look. Put, foot, cook, shift. These words are not pronounced. See, this we want to pronounce as look, put, food, cook. Do we? No. They are pronounced with the short U. Like look, put, foot, cook, shift. Right? So they should be pronounced with the short U. See, uh, let us see the set, second set of words here. This one, F O O D, food. How is it pronounced? Then? Food. It's not food. It's a food. D O, do. D O is a do. S H O E is a shoe. S H O E is a shoe. S H O O T, shoot. S H O O T shoot T O O T H tooth Okay food do shoot shoot tooth What are they food do shoe shoot tooth Now shall we compare these two sounds <coughs> look food Foot, do, foot, shoe, cook, 
should, 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 right? So I will pronounce these words one by one. You need to pronounce it after me, okay? After pronouncing one word, I will give you a small gap so that you can also speak it. L O O K look. P U T put. F O O T foot. C O O K cook. S H O U L D should. Now the second set. F O O D food. D O do. S H O E shoe. S H O O T shoot. T O O T H toot. Now we will compare both these. Okay. Look food. Look food. Put do. Foot. Shoe, cook, shoot, shoot, toot. Okay, so now I'll keep this screen the same for a while so that you can uh, practice them again and again. Okay children, now we will go on to the next one. Let us converse. Read the following conversation and enact out it with your partner. Listen to this conversation. After that I will give you the practice set. Boy called Sandeep, girl called Mini. Mini, what have you got for lunch today? As usual, only vegetable sandwiches. How many sandwiches did you bring? Why do you ask this? Anyway, why don't you join me? Thank you very much. Sorry, my mom could not prepare anything for me this morning due to high fever. No problem. You can share these sandwiches with me. Thanks a lot. You are welcome. Okay, you yeah, have listened to that. Now I will give you the wordings of this. Yeah, here we have the wordings of this particular conversation that we have just listened to. I will keep it on the screen for a while so that you can uh, read it, practice it and you can... Uh, Enact that with one of your friends, or brothers, or sisters, or cousins, or somebody at home, right?
Fine children. So now we'll go on to the next one. It's a rhyme time now. So we will have a beautiful rhyme over here. We will listen to that first. And once we complete listening, I will give you the wordings of this. And uh, we can read it and uh, enjoy it then. Fine. So in the first, we will uh, listen to the rhyme ones. I am in groups. Strawberry. I am a little strawberry. Red and sweet. When I'm ripe, you're ready to eat. Strawberry in a milkshake. Strawberry in a cake. Strawberry in an ice cream. Strawberry in everything. Mmm, what a yummy taste. Hmm. Sounds a beautiful rhyme, no? About a strawberry. Okay, now I will give you the wordings over here. Yeah, here it comes. Yeah. So now we have the wordings of the poem also here. Right? Uh, read it once. Okay children, now let us go on to the next one. Yeah, spot out the rhyming words. So this is also about the rhyme. See we have the rhyme also here. Hmm? So we need to identify the rhyming words in that. What do you mean by rhyming words? If the last sound of two words match each other, that is called a rhyming word. If the last sound the last sound of a word are the same for two words then we call it a, a rhyming word for example we have here sweet eat so both is completing with the eat to eat isn't it so these two are a, a rhyming words shake cake ache ache isn't it both the words have got the same ending like a ache ache so they rhyme each other. So look here, cream thing. Cream thing. Do they rhyme? No. So they are not a rhyming words. So the ending sound of two words are the same means they are a rhyming words. Okay. So what we need to do now here is we need to type the ending here. S W E E T sweet E A T eat so sweet eat they match each other isn't it yes s h a k e shake c a k e cake so shake and cake rhyme sweet and eat also rhymes right <laughs> read the poem and check whether any other lines have the same endings
write in skills. Copy the following sentences in your notebook. So we have got some sentences over here. So we need to copy that in your in our notebooks. Okay. What have you got for lunch? I have got tasty food for lunch. Would you like to eat? Would you like to taste it? Yes. Thank you. Or no thanks. Okay. So what have you got for lunch? I have got tasty food for lunch. So then comes the next question. Would you like to taste it? We can say yes, thank you. Or if you do not want to taste it, we can say no thanks. Right? Okay. So you can copy down this in your notebook. I will keep the screen for two minutes. You can copy that into your notebooks. Fine children, now we will go on to the next one. Look at the pictures and complete the sentences. Two sentences are there. This is a junk F. We should N dash eat too much J dash food. So this is, so burger is there, uh, soft drink is there, uh, pizza is there and something else also is here. Okay, some soup or something, whatever. So this is junk food, junk food, food or food, huh? food, yeah. So this is junk food, we should not eat, isn't it? We should not eat too much junk food, right? Yes. So this is? Junk food, we should not eat too much junk food. Now, once in a while, once in a month, it's okay. But if you try to eat these kinds of food every day, and that is a not good. Okay. So, now shall we go on to the next one? Homework. Learn the following sentences and expression. Okay. So the sentences. What have you brought for lunch? I have brought idli, upma, dosha or whatever the food is. Would you like to taste this? Yes. Thank you very much or uh, no thanks. So this is something that we have to practice uh, during the lunch break time at the school, isn't it? Yeah, we ask other friends, our friends also, what they have brought for lunch. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, this is something that we need to practice at that time. So what have you brought for lunch? 
I have brought idli, I have brought upma, I have brought dosha, or I have brought rice, whatever. Then uh, other person asks, would you like to taste this? If you want to taste it, you can say, yes, thank you very much. If you do not want to uh, taste it, you can say, no, thanks. Right? So these are some expressions that we need to use uh, in our conversations when we talk with our friends. Right? So you need to practice this. So can you copy down that in your notebook? I'll keep it on the screen for a while. You can copy that down. Okay. Fine children, have you copied that down? Okay, now we'll go on to the next one. It's a project work. Write down at least 10 describing words, adjectives along with the appropriate naming words, noun, and display them on your class display board. Use pictures with the describing words wherever possible. So what you need to write is, you need to write 10 describing words and 10 nouns. We can write a, a beautiful butterfly, a red car, a, a tall boy, a heavy book. Okay, so we need to write word combinations like this, hot tea. Hmm? So you need to write 10 nouns and 10 describing words and... If you get uh, pictures for that, you can use the pictures also for that. Okay. So that is an activity that you need to do, project to work that you need to do and that you need to display on the school board. Right. Notice board. value corner and the life skills so these are some values that we learn from this lesson and uh, we need to follow that in our life also only healthy food is good for our health only healthy food is good for our health yeah when we eat something we have to make it sure that what we eat is a healthy food what we eat is a healthy food Junk food is bad for our health. When we eat, try to eat junk food like uh, uh, pizzas or burgers or uh, chips, right? With uh, carbonated drinks like soft drinks like uh, Cokes and Colas, they are not uh, good for our health. So we are now small kids and uh, we need to eat healthy food so that when we grow up, we also will be strong. So what we need to eat? We need to eat a lot of fruits and vegetables instead of a junk food, right? So that is something that we have to learn for our life. And uh, with this part, we have come to an end of this lesson, the healthy food, right? So in the next class, we will meet again with the, another lesson, right? So till then, eat healthy food and take care.